So what is up guys, it is Redhawk36, and uh, I'm back with another video. This one's a little different again, but um, you guys should know by now I am a huge, huge Paper Mario fan, and we just got a new trailer. Now, this was in the Nintendo Direct for Europe. Um, reason I'm not doing the US version is because um, Europe and Japan's Direct had a little bit more footage. Um, reason I'm not using Japan's is because I speak English. So, um, this, this was the happy medium where I could both understand what he was saying and we get more footage. So, um, I won't make this debate about like what game is better or whether or not this will turn out to be great, but, um, just kind of an analysis of what I see in the video. So if you guys want to check out the real, um, you know, Nintendo Direct footage, uh, without pausing every five seconds to analyze something, then I suggest searching for that. Um, but yeah, we're going to be pausing and, and talking and seeing what we can find in this, you know, short little, you know, one one minute 50, or no, not even, it's like one minute 20 second trailer. Um, so the reason I'm starting in the middle of the video here is because we're, again, looking at the European version rather than the Japanese version. So here we go. Let's paint the town red and every other color too in the latest action adventure on Wii U. So even there, right there, action adventure game. This is not an RPG as um, Nintendo has, you know, done with it in the past with Paper Mario 1 and 2. Um, you know, with Super Mario or Super Paper Mario. It was more of an RPG platformer. Now it's an action adventure game like Sticker Star. So I think Nintendo has said that, um, you know, Sticker Star is the latest engine of this game. Um, and the RPG aspect of everything will be the Mario and Luigi series, which is unfortunate for me because I like Paper Mario much better. Um, I already know that this game will be in my top 10 games ever because just because it's part of the Paper Mario series. Paper Mario Color Splash. Whenever we make a Paper Mario... Alright. Now, a couple things to see in this. Uh, first of all, let me get out of the way and show that there is an HP meter. So that's that's good. That's, not, that's good. We're not just basing everything off of, like, paint. Like, if you run out of paint, uh, if you run out of color, then, then you, you know, you die. You slowly fade into nothingness. Um, but that'd be kind of cool if we got, like, a dupless effect there where like some enemy sucked the life out of you all the color and then uh you know you had to go chasing around like as a blank uh silhouette of mario trying to get your your paint or your identity back um in the top left we can see a uh maximum paint hold uh we'll get a little bit more into that as we see it used but the main thing here is that the question mark blocks are back and so are a new way of battling so in sticker star we had stickers these are um, these are cards, and what you have to do is you have to paint them and flick them in order to um, in order to battle. Now let's see what it's called. Oh, sorry, that opens up something different. Dang. Ready? Okay. It's called Worn Out Jump. Now there's two things interesting about this. One, the battle system um, is again going to be like Sticker Star because we see that Worn Out Jump is back. Um, so it's not upgrading your boots, it's getting um, better and better cards. I guess you're building your deck uh, to have better attacks. Now, what's also interesting is that it says new. So whether or not that means that, you know, we get that collection aspect again. Because one of my favorite parts about Paper Mario Sticker Star was the fact that, um, you know, you got to do the, the museum in the town and you got to collect everything and, you know, post a sticker. Um, so whether or not they're going to have like a, a card deck museum, um, where you can get that collectability aspect to the game, uh, I hope they do, or if you're out of a journal in your start menu or something, uh, but you know, even before then, like in Super Paper Mario, you had the catch cards, so I've loved that aspect of Paper Mario games, um, that they've implemented recently. Um, let's see, and the fact that it says X3, X3, um, does that mean you get to jump three times in one turn? Or do you, did you just get three worn out jump cards that you can use three separate times? Um, I don't know, but uh, 
it looks like, you know, this is one of the first levels, even though we do have 50 HP and 186 coins. Um, but it seems as though as uh, that this is, you know, just just a you know a trailer. It's a reveal. It's not anything accurate to, you know, how much HP we have or where we are in the game. But we can definitely see that this is an island because of the water in the background. All right, let's move on. We already okay. So we have the tape back. Um, let's just oh, check out what game. it said. If anything, we already. It has the Bowser logo on it again. This is the only sign of Bowser we see in this entire game. We don't know what happens. We don't know what the story is. If you just look at the trailer one time through, it looks as if, um, you know, the Shy Guys are the main villains uh, with their, their straws. Because uh, Actually, I'll get back to the Shy Guys later. But, um, yeah, there's still going to be parts of the landscape that we have to reopen, pulling the tape apart. So... Um, it's cool that they still have like the sticker aspect in the way that you have to, you know, rip the, the landscape apart a bit. Challenge ourselves to offer something. Now this is where everyone was disappointed. The fact that there is a level select. Um, so it's not an open world like the, uh, first couple of Paper Mario games, but it does look a lot more immersive. Um, you know, we've got a train, we've got, um, looks like a bridge, some mountains, uh, I don't know, it just looks a lot more fleshed out than, uh, Sticker Star did. Now, we can assume that the town, um, is, is the main hub, because it's not blue, the, the dot here is not blue, like it was completed, um, and it looks like this is the first level, so again, whether we start with a hundred of our paint capacity or not first I'm not sure um, but it looks as if uh, as you continue to paint uh, your way through your journey um, the world map seems to brighten up instead of being you know this monochrome thing in the background um, and what's interesting is that there's something backwards it looks like you're backtracking from the main hub area into this pipe area which is kind of like the um, I forget what it's called but it was the it was like starshine point port or something um, which you could go immediately to uh, after you completed the you know the, the unrolling the town in sticker star so whether or not that'll be a similar thing with this pipe or it's a different level completely and the world map loops completely around that would also be pretty cool um, but what's interesting is this next clip all right it says ruddy road so again we're gonna have level names but uh, the interesting part here is what's above and below. Above, we see two stars, which I will get to later. Um, but what I think that those are is um, there are two different ways to complete this level. Now, I only see one, um, you know, next level that's direct, like in a direct path. But I feel like there could be a secret exit somewhere uh, that is unlocked because there are two stars. Um, and the reason why they're stars is not because of Paper Mario sticker stars, uh, part of the sticker comet that you had to collect at, at, at the end of each level, but um, but of something different, and that'll come later. Now, what's also interesting is colorless spots restored. Is all of those like blank splotches in the world um, that you have to paint with your hammer. So not only do you have to use it um, in battle, you have to use your paint hammer um, to to you know 100% an area so I think the collection aspect of the cards plus 100% in each area and finding every last colorless spot to paint while conserving your paint this will be a tough game for a completionist this time the th um, this we're not seeing much here other than the fact that you can splash multiple different colors everywhere um, there is a box and there is a trash can so whether or not you can check those or break them open I don't know but uh, this seems to just be like a nice HD feature of everything. Theme is colors and paint. As such, the game takes... Now this gives a really um, Thousand Year Door-esque feel because you're going to an island on a ship um, with Peach and Toad. Now it's not Toad's worth or anything, but um, we'll see that in a bit. And it's I, th I think it's a really cool touch that it's, it's very similar in that aspect. Place in a colorful paradise. So yes, it is an island, Prism Island, and Called the most Prism interesting part Island. is, well, we'll get to that in a second, but these, um, 
these, I guess, posts, these lamp posts, um, these are actually the banners from Sticker Star, in which um, once you, I don't know, get a certain amount of perfect battles, you know, without getting hurt or, like, defeating an enemy on the first turn, or coins spent, um, or HP up hearts uh, that you collect, you know, you unveil a, um, a banner. That this was in the Sticker Festival area in Sticker Star. So I think it's cool that, again, you get that, you know, completionist um, aspect to the game where you get to, um, you know, really feel accomplished in that, you know, you didn't just be the game, you got everything in it. But something is very wrong. Prism Island is... What's interesting here is that we see a blank toad that's standing up. This one's kind of, like, fallen down, but this blank toad standing up, I think, is kind of funny. It's being drained... Of now this is one of the best signs that I've seen, is that um, you've got the, these six colors here, um, plus the middle. So what's interesting is that I think it's really cool that, you know, they implemented the six again. You know, it's always been seven or six for the Paper Mario series um, of, you know, major things to collect. And obviously, I'm sure these are like the magical paint colors or something that you have to collect throughout um, in each of the worlds. Uh, but what's cool is that you have your primary and secondary colors of red, yellow, blue, um, green, purple, and orange, um, and how it's organized in like this color wheel aspect, um, and the fact that they look like paint buckets uh, that you know flow into this um, center area makes me think that it's like the Thousand Year Door in which you open the center and that is where your final destination will be, or like. Maybe it will be uh, Paper Mario uh, for the N64-esque thing where, you know, you collect all the Star Spirits so you can go to Starway and use, you know, the, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like the Starship little, like, bowl thing that you flew to Bowser's Castle in. Um, so maybe it'll unveil something that will get to your last desti destination. Um, in in Sticker Star, it was kind of different. Um, you know, you just restored your, your power and, uh, you know, your friend Wiggler helped you out. Um, that was your flight to Bowser's Castle, but we'll see how they handle that in this game. It's Kara to make sense of all the. That's funny. That's funny. You got your Paper Mario humor, of course. This, it is up to. What's interesting though is this clip. Um, it's not empty anymore. So I think there was a cutscene or something that happened beforehand that we didn't see, um, where you know this hole is not empty anymore. Um, it everything is still flowing into the center here, but it looks like gears where each instead of you know flowing into the center and making some type of rainbow or um you know piece of artwork um it's like each color uh you know may re restores a gear working and then maybe it'll open that door instead paper mario to set off on a journey to bring now this is a clip we didn't get in the u.s version of the direct um not only are the toads you know completely blank we can see them in the like we can see shy guys in the act of sucking the life from toads so of course you can make your your drug jokes but um you know the more memes the better but i think that uh you know these shy guys like i said before i think i said this before like uh, in sticker star we had the paper clip and the bucket shy guys so now we got straw shy guys so not only are they sucking the life out of you know the world they're sucking the life out of the characters in it Kara back to the land. His new pay So um, here we get a first look at um, I think the meter in action. So as we use uh, that's orange. So I'm assuming that a little yellow and a little red paint has been used. So I think we're the the paint hammer is going to use um, the six you know primary and secondary colors. So you'll have your three, and you have to either make you know, you have to have red, you have your red, yellow, and blue, but you also have to make, you know, red to yellow to make orange, uh, red to blue to make purple, and blue to yellow to make green. Um, so I think the secondary colors you have to use with more caution because you're using more paint, um, or you're using different types of paint, but it, what's interesting is that it seems that in all of these clips, blue is the most, you know, conserved paint color. So whether or not that's just for display or for other reasons, whether there's more power to different colors, um, I don't know. Um, and once again, this is the starting hub, and we do have 100, and it, below me, we have 50 HP. So I don't know if there will be HP up hearts, um, 
because I don't think there's any experience in this game either, just like Sticker Star. What's also interesting, though, is that Peach and Toad are still here. Um, Peach hasn't been kidnapped, and we the only thing we've seen from Bowser is the tape um, that we had to pull off to unveil part of the world. So um, I have a feeling that, you know, something will happen later to Peach, but if she could be playable like Super Paper Mario, I would love that. Saint Hummer. So here again confirms um, more of the Sticker Star style attacks. So we've got the worn out hammer. We can see the X uh, bandage on the hammer card, um, plus the cardboard like coins um, instead of having normal coins. But it seems like these uh, empty paint spots that we fill in are acting like question mark blocks in the sense that they reveal something every time. It's just a tool. All right, here um, is something interesting. It looks like there's something on the back of this toad's head, but I cannot make out what it is at all. Um, save blocks are back, that's really cool. Um, plus we got different colored toads. Um, we got the blue shop toad back, so um, I can't tell if those um, cards are shiny or not, just like uh, we had you know, shiny stickers and sticker star determining, determining the power. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But uh, we've also got weird blue paint splotches on the red building. So whether or not what color you use on them changes the color of everything. Um, you know, if you use blue paint on a flower, will it become like what color it should be? Or will it be, you know, the color that you actually choose to paint it? And is there different benefits for using different colors? What was the job? It's... So we can see that every time uh, we use something, something pops out. But what's more important here is... We can now see that these banners are confirmed and revealed. So maybe this toad um, that's now walking around thanks you by, you know, saying I'll keep track of your progress. Or maybe this green toad over here, which looks like, with uh, with his flag, um, is monitoring the gate out into the world map. Brassy's paint on. A now this is what I was talking about with the stars. Um, what's interesting is that this star looks exactly like the flight power from Super Mario Galaxy, but I'm sure that's just a coincidence. Um, so when I was talking about before that, you know, that um, the world map had a, a star, uh, had two stars on it, actually, me, like that to me meant that there was two exits. But now that I look at it closer, you got like little uh, bulbs or balls on the end of each star point, um, which again is very much like the uh, Mario Galaxy power which allowed you to fly um, it doesn't exactly look like the stars that were uh, on the world map but it's just interesting to look at and this is still the main hub with the um, red building and what's interesting is that shy guys are even here so maybe you can get bat into battles um, within the main hub as well anything he hits destroying the islands color bit by bit he now this was another big wow um, you know, at first you look at it and you're like, yes, thank you. Party members are back. But if we think back to Sticker Star, we had Kirsty, And what Kirsty was, was like, uh, you know, part of the Sticker Star, uh, part of the Sticker Comet. Uh, and, you know, this being a paint bucket and you're trying to restore paint or color to, you know, the land. It seems like this is going to be another Kirsty. Um... But the fact that we do have a guide with us, that'd be cool. But I can think of so many different things uh, with party members that we can do. Like, think if we had Bombette or, you know, Admiral Bobbery or Boomer. You know, like those party members, but they, you know, it was a paint bomb explosion to paint the land. And you use paint that way. Or um, if you had a Chain Chomp party member. And you know how Chain Chomps are based off of dogs. Um, you know, it would, it would roll in paint. And then, you know, how dogs shake to dry themselves off. You know, you shake and paint splatters everywhere. Um, I feel like that would be a really cool addition, but I'm thinking that this is a Kirsty like uh, party member. We can even splash paint on colorless toes. So we can not only revive the land, but we can revive toads as well, um, and maybe other characters. To wake them up, a splash of. Now, what's interesting here is that they call this um, a toad house. Um, so if Toad House has come back all the way from the N64, uh, you know, where you go walk in and you sleep and you heal, I feel like that'd be really cool. Um, how, how you would heal, though, um, if, they, if they have an unlimited supply of paint that they just pour into you or, like, you refill your hammer or something, I don't know. 
uh, but that'd be interesting to see how it works. Kara will even liven up a toad hub. Um, and I believe that said jump or hammer. I forget what it was, but that is from this block here that was now uh, hammered. So. Oops. So we got, finally, I'm free. In finally. Battle. So we got those groups of toads that you know just basically have one f uh, full personality. You will paint cars like. So we could see here that the the card turns yellow orange, and we used mostly yellow paint. So. We can see that not only are we using it with our hammer, but we're using it with attacks as well. This, and then flick them to start the battle. What's interesting is that they say flick to start the battle. Whether or not that means to attack or not, um, within the battle or to get a first strike, uh, I don't know. But the way they say start the battle is kind of suspicious. <coughs> and what's cool is that they say excellent, which means that the action command will be back. Uh, there is timing. Um, and there's actually a picture of that timing, or not a picture, but like a small clip of that timing in the Japanese version of the Direct. So take a uh, look at that if you want to see it. So this is very much like Sticker Star in which um, not only do you hit the, <clears throat> the enemy that you're targeting, you also hurt the enemy behind it slightly with good timing. There are special cards. So special cards, this is pulled right from Sticker Star. Um, you know, we've got the fan, and that was basically the, uh, you know, initial, <clears throat> you know, special, what is it called? Thing sticker, um, that you used in the world. So whether or not you're going to use these cards in the overworld, just like you did in, um, Sticker Star, I don't know, but, um, this one looks like it does massive Two. damage. They will unleash satisfyingly powerful attacks. So this is also a different clip from the um, the uh, 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 US version. The US version did not have this. Um, and what's cool is that they show the water wheel, which was in the top left corner of the um, the world map, if you go back to check in that. So that should be a close to uh, early level in the game. Paper Mario Color Splash is currently in development. We will have more information to share in the future. So yes, I did pull this um, from Game Explain. So thank you guys so much uh, for providing that because I did not know before this um, that there was different clips in the uh, European and uh, Japanese versions. But that totally makes sense because you know it was just a sudden announcement that was really you know really weird that this was the reveal trailer. Um, <clears throat> but you know the way the way Paper Mario has worked out, you know, at first it was just an RPG, another way to, you know, establish like, hey, this is a different type of Mario, so let's call it something else. Um, you know, in Japan it was Mario Story; it wasn't even called Paper Mario. Um, TTYD expanded on it, and then they're like, well, um, how can we make this more paper esque? Uh, make it two D uh, with three D aspects, just like the previous games. Um, so that was the platformer, two D platformer aspect of um super paper mario and then they flipped that completely with being on the handheld with sticker star and saying you know what else is you know how can we make this more paper like so not only you know having like 3d diagrams with 3ds but making everything cardboard to um you know saying that hey you know stickers are also paper um with with color splash it looks like you know what, what else do you do on paper? You color on it, you draw on it, you paint it. Um, so the fact that they're adding more and more elements to Paper Mario, I do like. Um, it's kind of kind of sad, kind of cool to see um, it drift away from the norm that was set by the first two Paper Mario games. But the fact that they've been doing something different uh, every time excites me, and I'm pretty hyped for this. So if I left anything out of the trailer, um, please comment your ideas down below, um, and as far as opinions go, be careful with what you say, because you might get backlash from somebody else who's like, oh, but I like Sticker Star, no, it was a horrible game, so just be careful with that, guys, but yeah, any questions for me or any more info, uh, please comment down below, and thanks for watching.